Hey guys, it's Dr. Jay here. In this video, we will learn more about CSS code, which will help us to take our HTML that we have already written, and we can format that, uh, where we can change the color, we can change the alignment, we can change the size, etc. So we can make our web page look more attractive using CSS. Also in this video, I will show you how to group related items uh, together in HTML. Let's start with the grouping. In HTML, in that particular section, we're going to use these three tags, the header. We're going to uh, group things that are related to the header that will appear on the top of our web page. And then the opposite will be the footer, which appears at the bottom. And then the body will be grouped together using the section tag. And you'll notice that each of these tags have an opening tag and a closing tag. So the web page that we developed will be transformed into something like this, which looks a little more attractive and professional. Here we've got the header tag. Uh, at the bottom, we've got the footer, which we will centralize. And then we've got the body, which we use uh, where we use a section tag. In terms of the CSS, we will now go to that particular window when we're working in CodePen, and we will format. Uh, for example, the, this here, we are formatting the H1 heading, and we are setting the color to red. So this is just one particular example of how you could go and write some CSS. To see how all of this works, let's jump into CodePen. And this was the page that we created in our previous video, a very basic page where we had an H1 heading, uh, we had another H2 heading as well. And then there were two paragraph uh, tags that were created. And this translated into that information appearing on our web page. Let's now try and write some CSS to be able to give this a little more style. To do that, I'm going to open up the CSS uh, window. And here I'm going to start off by typing in H1 and the color is set to red. Notice after each uh, line or, or format, we use a semicolon. So if we have multiple lines, we separate them using semicolons. We also use the curly braces to open and to close. And this H1 will relate to the H1 in our HTML section. And when we look at the output, you will see that the H1 tag is now in red. Um, we can add more format to this. And here I've now changed the background color for the H2 tag. Now I'm working with the H2 tag and I've changed the background color to blue. Uh, I can take that one step further and I can add some padding. And you will notice with padding, it has added some space above and below. So that's padding and the padding is set to 20 PX. PX is, are your pixels um, that I'm setting it to. Let's try and do some formatting for the paragraph. So now I'm creating some CSS for the P. P relates to the paragraph tag. And I'm setting the font family to Arial. And if you look carefully at this, uh, it now is in a different font compared to the heading one and heading two. I've now set that to Arial. Uh, I can also add a font size to this. 
uh, and I've set the font size to 10 PT. PT relates to points, while PX relates to pixels. And you would have noticed that this has now changed uh, to 10 points. It, it, has gone, uh, it has gone a bit smaller. So using the CSS, we are now able to format our output uh, using these types of commands. I am now going to go to my workspace and open up another version of the same HTML. So I'm going to click on this little icon and go to your work. So this brings up all the different projects that I've been working on. And let's look at what we've done here. It's the same HTML. The difference, let's uh, look at this code. I'm just going to adjust my windows uh, so that I can focus on the HTML code. And if you look, I've added a header tag. So previously we had the H1, welcome to my first web page. I've now added a header. So this is a particular section uh, in my HTML. If I go to the bottom, uh, I've added a footer tag in a very similar way. And in the middle, I've got my section tag. So these are the three changes that I've now made uh, to my HTML code. And now when I write my CSS, my CSS is based on the header, the section, and the footer. Uh, unlike in the previous example where my CSS was based on the H1 uh, tag and the H2 tag and the P tags. So just a slight change to group things related together, keeping things together. It's a better practice when you're working with a web page to design in this way. Now let's look at what is happening in the CSS. So as part of the header, there's a few things that are now happening. Firstly, the background color is set. Uh, you could choose uh, your color using this format. Alternatively, you could type in the color that you want. And the hash 333, that refers to a shade of gray. So if I had to do something like that, it's obviously a darker gray, uh, but you can use a color as well. So I've got my background color that's set. I've got the color of my font. And if you look at the font color, that's white. So if I had to change this, I could change it to white and that will still remain the way it is. And I've got some padding included. So that gives me some spacing. If I look at the section, the CSS for the section, uh, you will notice there's some padding as well for the spacing. There's margins that are now set as well. So the margin is set to 20. Uh, the background color, is uh, the background is white and there's a box shadow. Uh, you will see that there is a shadow that appears on this particular section. So you could get fancy and do those type of things. And then in the footer, I'm using these attributes where the color is dark, right? So the background color is more or less black uh, and the font is white. So the font is white, there's a padding of 10. So it's not as big as the previous uh, header. And the text alignment is now set to center. So with these minor changes that we have made, we now have a web page that's looking a lot more professional in terms of our design that we are putting together. So keep in mind 
that when you're generating your web page, try to keep them in sections uh, and then you can format each of those different sections. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at uh, how we can start uh, adding components onto our web page. Uh, and then we'll try to see how we can create some interaction for those components using some JavaScript. Until the next video, take care. Bye.